Number 10. The Amazing Private Benjamin. It is a 2014 Filipino fantasy action comedy film. In this movie the main actor plays the role of Benjamin Santos whose family has a long tradition of serving in the military. In fact, the movie's stunning opening traces the roots of the Santos military service, from the days of Lapo-Lapo and the Katipunan, up to the current times. Conflict ensues when Lalo Benjamin finds out that his grandson cannot continue the tradition because he is gay. But when Lalo Benjamin is captured by terrorists, the grandson enters the military and musters all his masculine strength to save his dear grandfather, and the rest of the war-torn country as well. Number 9. Beauty and the Bestie. This was released in 2015. It is a Filipino action comedy drama film. Beauty and the Bestie centers on Erika, a gay photographer, and his former best friend, Special Agent Emin. Emin offers Erika a secret mission to post as the missing Miss Uzklovakia in the Miss Uniworld 2015 pageant to prevent the latter's recluse country from waging a possible world war. As Erika accepts the mission, the former BFFs find themselves entangled in the crazy world of beauty pageants in their action-packed adventure. As they race against time, Erika and Emin find themselves in an awkward situation that forces them to rekindle a peculiar flame in their past. Number 8. Miracle in Cell Number 7. This is a Filipino drama released on 2019. The film is based on the 2013 South Korean film with the same title. Joe Slito, an intellectually disabled man, is wrongfully charged with sexual assault, kidnapping, and murder of a little girl. In prison he becomes friends with his fellow inmates and together they form a plan to smuggle his young daughter inside the cell. Years after, his daughter becomes a lawyer and is determined to prove her father's innocence. Number 7. A Second Chance. Released in 2015. Painfully honest and beautifully tragic, A Second Chance delivers a yet another Filipino masterpiece. The film picks up at Popoy finally deciding to marry Basher after turning down an offer to work overseas. As a new couple, their beginning sees the piling of their dreams like blocks of the house they both intend to build. Everything they want to accomplish seems to be at the right place. Years later, they stumble upon the very verge of destruction of their dreams and relationship. Number 6. Gandharapido, The Revenger Squad. This is a Filipino superhero comedy released in 2017. Three friends try to attain and protect what is most precious to them. Family is the only thing that binds them, but as they stick to their separate missions, dark secrets arise and threaten to destroy everything they hold dear. Can they set aside their differences to find the only great power that will make them super? Number 5. Fantastica. It's a fantasy comedy released in 2018. Balat, her mother Feck and adopted siblings Dax, Pepe and Junjun face the possibility of being evicted from their land as they struggle to save their carnival. Hoping to prevent the carnival from closing, they turn to Prince, a man from Balat's past, for help. He promises to give them a hand if they first help him look for the lost princesses Rapunzliar, Morlan and Erler so they can save the magical land, Fantastica. Number 4. The Super Parental Guardians. It is a Philippine action comedy film in 2016. The Super Parental Guardians is a family movie with a heart that revolves around unlikely parents, R.C. and Paco. R.C. gains custody of his best friend's children Megan and Ernie just before she dies. The children's uncle, Paco, has no choice but to join this newfound family. R.C. and Paco will now embark on the craziest and greatest adventure of their lives as they play the roles of Momshi and Popshi to both Megan and Ernie. Number 3. Made in Malacanang. This drama film became the first highest grossing Filipino film in 2022. Made in Malacanang depicts the other side of the historic bloodless, Edsa revolution, in the Philippines in 1986. 
An untold story of the last 72 hours of the Marcoses inside Malacañang Palace before being exiled to Hawaii during the 1986 People Power Revolution. Number 2. The House of Us. This film is a Philippine romantic comedy drama film released in 2018. The House of Us broke multiple records in the Philippines, including being one of the first locally produced movies to reach 600 million pesos in domestic box office earnings, which it achieved in 20 days. The film grossed 805 million under 50 days after its Philippine release. After its original run, it was shown in three countries in Southeast Asia and grossed $50,000. Story of couple Primo and George who are in a long-term relationship and are already building and planning their future together. Their love will be put to the test as their relationship faces hurdles, including misunderstands and different career paths. How will they save their us? And number one. Hello, love, goodbye. A Philippine romantic drama film released in 2019. This film received numerous awards and recognitions locally and internationally. The film centers on the love story of Joy and Ethan, Filipino workers based in Hong Kong. Ethan, a bartender, is keen on romantically pursuing Joy, a domestic helper who is wholly dedicated to providing for her family. Joy and Ethan soon develop a friendship. The two become each other's joy against the grime and grind of Hong Kong. So much so that when lonely nights come, they fully surrender to each other's comfort. Still, they warn each other, this is just, for now, we are not permanent. They wonder, can their for now turn to forever? But what happens when Joy's dreams take her away from Hong Kong? How can their love possibly survive? Please don't forget to subscribe for more.